a LinkedIn profile as a software developer, right? Because I firmly believe that you are working in the software industry and most of the folks are there on the LinkedIn. And I have talked to several HR recruiter. One of my roommate is also is working in the, in the field of HR recruitment. So he told me like uh, whenever he is shortlisting a candidate for first round of interview, like he'll be contacting the, the individual candidate. So for that, he sometimes used LinkedIn as a source to identify whether this candidate will be valuable or not, whether this candidate will fit their requirement or not, because most of the time it is about the requirements that they are having, right? So we are wasting a time. I will review my LinkedIn profile and you guys can take a look how my profile looks. And uh, this is not the best profile out there. I know definitely I can rate my profile around six out of 10. So there are people who are having a better profile than mine. So keeping that in mind, you can just take some of the bits from my profile, you can take some of the bits from some other profile and you can you can use in your LinkedIn profile and you can improve that. And uh, one more thing, you can just share your profile to me on my YouTube channel and what in the comment section, what I will do, I will review them. If there are some points, I will just point it out. So that will really help you out to grow. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first one is, you should have a profile picture. So what it indicates, this indicates that this is a genuine profile and this guy is really serious and looking for a job, right? And uh, my my picture, it doesn't look like that much formal, but if you can have a formal picture where you are wearing a button down shirt and that will look really, really like formal and it will look really, really good, I would say. But definitely you should have a picture in like well lit room and this will look good. Second, you should have some kind of background. Let's say you are working on a JavaScript background. You can have a banner of JavaScript or on Java, or let's say you are working in a company. So you can add their banner in the background. That will really look good. It shows, yeah, you care. That's why you are working and you're putting effort in your LinkedIn profile. Okay, and these are basic stuff. You can add uh, your uh, current role in here, right? I have added my blog post link here that is also optional you can add it or you cannot add you don't you don't have to add it second thing uh, which is like uh, more important according to me is this featured section right because this is the place where you can feature some of your favorite stuff and anyone can come here and they can look at it they don't have to like go through the complete profile so let's understand what are the things we can add here first thing that you should add is your resume that is really really important the Recruiter can come here, they can take a look into your resume, they can download it and they can maybe, and I will also share some points like how you can build a better resume that we can do it later. But as of now, I'm talking about what you can add here. You can add your resume here. If you have a portfolio, you can add that. Let's say recently you did some certification, you can add that. You have some appreciation at work, you can add that. For me, I have added some of my favorite blog posts, my YouTube videos and uh, a bunch of stuff. You can review my profile later on. <laughs> I will share that. Then you can have some about section. This really shows like what you are passionate about and how you approach a problem. Anything you can add about you, it, you can any, you can customize this the way you like. Okay. Next section is about the experience section. I will talk about this experience. There are a bunch of experience I have, but you can. I will be talking about this. I have the company name and the. Tenure I have worked there, but the most important thing is this, like the things I have worked on while I was working in this company. So there I have mentioned clearly, like, so whatever things we are mentioning, try to quantify that. That will be really, really good, actually. Let's say you are working, you have worked, I have worked on Sonar Cube fixes and basically reduce the number of bugs by 50% or let's say 10%, let's say, Currently, I'm working on latency part. I have reduced some latency. You can add that number and that really signifies what you have worked on and how much impact you have done. Next thing, you can also add some uh, attachments here. I uh, have done some basic Java certification from Hacker Rank. I have added that. And let's say you have done some other certification from Azure or some AWS or some Java certification. You can add those there. Or you're working in a company and you have some appreciation from the employer you can add those also here that will look good actually 
and will help you out. Next is education section. You can add here your college, your school, or let's say you have to do some post graduation. You can add that. Next section is license and certification. I have added a bunch of certification, but doesn't make sense actually. Just this one is important, I would say. Microsoft Azure certified Azure fundamentals, and that is also like a fundamental level. You can add some good certification here, or let's say you have done some courses, all that also you can add. This will really highlight highlight you have worked on those tech and uh, your expertise, right? Then some volunteer experience. This doesn't make sense actually. You can just avoid this section. Yeah, this is skill section really matters. As of now, uh, you can see I have like 10 skills here. That doesn't make sense actually. You can add less number of skills particular to your niche. I am into Java, Spring Boot, microservices, event even architecture, and currently working on Vortex, which is a library used in Java for asynchronous communication. We can talk about that a lot. Yeah, I'm interested in that. So you can add your skills and try to make your skills as niche as possible. Because earlier, like 10 minutes back, I was having like skills here, but I think around 20, 30 skills have been here. So I've removed most of them because it doesn't make sense to have like large number of skills here. According to me, then the next section is recommendation. I really love this section. Uh, so Javel is one of my older, you can say manager. This is my, he is my first manager and right, like he's really inspiring by the way. And he has written a few lines about me. Like let's say when I reported to him and uh, how I've worked on a problem and how I approach the problem. So this looks really good. It basically uh, boosts my confidence also reading this kind of uh, lines about me and also this will assure uh, the recruiter that yeah people trust him and people are writing about him so yeah it looks good right according to me then you can add some courses you can add some udemy courses some let's say whatever the courses you have done you can add it here next section is the project section let's say you have built some projects and you can upload your projects on github i will also make one video on uh, how to create your GitHub profile and uh, how you can have a beautiful GitHub profile. I have a really good GitHub profile, I would say. I have a bunch of projects, not much deep in the tech, but decent profile, I would say. So you can create a projects and commit and push your projects here, and you can add the links here, the working link here, and all those things. I am having around six projects. Basically, all of our in the front end tech, but I'm thinking of adding more projects here in this future. Um, just make a let me make a note on this. Patiently, uh, just now I got one idea, so I've just noted down. Okay, you can add this. Yeah, and I think we are done. This is it, guys. You can post your LinkedIn profile to me. I will review it. And if it helps you, yeah, give a thumbs up. If you don't like something, give us a thumbs down and post a comment. I will try to improve on that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.